you know, like the earth isn't, isn't square. It's round. So you can keep going and going and going and tell you tell it never ends. There's always something to see, always something to do. It's just kind of like me for my art. There's always something to do. There's always some, what's next? There's always a new challenge, right? There should be no, nothing stopping you. It's hard to explain. But anyways, yesterday I carved this, uh, this uh, wishing well out of, I think this wood is um, poplar or something. It's just driftwood fine. But I carved this live. I took the live video down because the beginning of the video was all screwed up. So I'll put, make an apology here to Mr. Thomas. I know you're from Scotland. I don't know why I said England. Just want to say I'm sorry. So last night I, I thought to myself, what do I want to carve today? Just like I said, my mind's going around. What do I want to carve today? So I got this other half of the log down here. So I want to expand my mind in art. There should be no stops when it comes to art. Your your mind should keep going. If some like wood spirits, I've carved so many of them lately, my mind's kind of stagnant on it. But it's not because I love carving those. But anyways, this I want to carve another one of these. But it doesn't have to be a wishing well. Like because if I think if I carve too many of these, I'll be selling them. I think because I think this is a seller. People would buy it. You put a little succulent plant in here, and boom, sold. But I don't want to carve these to sell these. I want to carve wood spirits to sell. But so I said, I got this bigger piece down here. So why don't I make another, because why don't I make another planter box? But it's not going to be a wishing well, right? So I was thinking, well, why don't I carve like a, a sloped roof on it? And, you know, put a birdhouse in there, uh, just a fake birdhouse. It will be, this piece is way too short for birds to live in it, right? Because it's going to be on the ground. Birds want to live up there. They don't want to live down here, obviously. So, but anyways, why don't I carve a roof on it, a birdhouse, and then, like, uh, make the middle a pole. And then the planters can be around the outside of the pole, right? So they'll be all, just like for succulents, nothing crazy. But then I said to myself, well... Why do you got to stop at just a simple birdhouse with a pole? You love carving wood spirits, so why don't you carve a roof, a sloped roof, with a wood spirit face there with his mouth as a birdhouse, and then have your thing coming down here, maybe his, maybe like a, like a, make it so it's like a tree, a tree there, have a branch coming off the tree in the center. So pretend this would be, pretend this would be right here, this pole be in the center of it, have a branch coming off and have a little bird sitting on the branch. So that's what I think I'm going to do. A, a roof with a wood spirit birdhouse with a hole in his mouth, a branch coming down, and let's see if I can make it so there's a, like a, a little tree coming down with a branch coming off and put a little bird on it. And then there'll be a little planter on the outside here for little succulents or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll see if it works out. I don't know. It could be a flop. But if you don't try, you're not gonna you're not gonna know, right? So it might look like a bag of donkey shit. Who knows? But I really love this. Uh, this is the 140, the MS one MSA 140C. I love this saw, guys. It's the battery saw. I suggest it. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. But I suggest it to anybody. The 140C comes with the quarter pitch quarter pitch uh, sprocket inside here, so it's easy. You take this bar off. You put a carving bar on it, and you're good to go. This is just a pruning bar, right? So, but I also got a spare battery that's fully charged in the quick charger. This saw, this AK-30 battery, it's the bigger battery, and the extra battery, and the quick charger cost me 890 Canadian dollars. I know I've said that in a few videos, but anyways, this isn't going to be a really carving video. I'm just going to show you guys steps of where I'm at, right? So... I won't bore you with the carving part because, well, I just don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what I'm doing? Anyways, on with it. Carry on.
Okay, so here's what we come up with so far. I didn't have room to uh, make a branch out here. So you can always drill a hole, put a branch in, and carve a little bird to go on there. I really don't know what type of wood this was. I was just talking to my buddy Chris and just carved Rob. It could be almost like butternut. I don't know if it grows around here, but don't forget this is driftwood. So if this could have like traveled the ocean, right? It came from somewhere else. This could be third world wood, uh, wood, you know, but is it poplar or is it butternut? I don't know. Just carve Rob says it could be birch, but I haven't seen birch this dark. But then again, I haven't carved much birch, poplar, or butternut. I haven't carved butternut at all yet. But I got some at home. But I do have these pieces. So I can take this home, try and carve this with my uh, Dremel. But anyways, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll know more once I start carving the uh, face in. So... See all the room I got down here for the, to, to do, use my Mampa cutter to put holes in here for succulents? Now I guess what I'll do is draw the face on, carve the face. You guys don't need to see me carving a wood spirit. You see me carve lots of them, right? So I won't show filming that. Um, another thing too is, uh, what was I going to say? Oh shoot, friggity rickets, I forget. Um, yeah, so just have fun. That's all. That's what I say when I forget what I'm going to say. I say, have fun. Enjoy yourself. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Um, I basically used a full battery to all to block all this out, but I didn't do it in full cuts. You guys see all those little scraps? I just kind of sh I kind of shimmed it away so I wouldn't get too thin around here. I might have to make this thinner. My Mampa cutter doesn't get inside there. My Anyways, carve on, carry on. Okay, so here's what we got so far. Anyways, here's my buddy Big D. Come to get my tone. No, what do you mean? Where are you taking that? I'm taking it. Where? I'm you can't have it. In my house. Looks you just like gonna, me. Do, why are you taking it? Because I owe you money. Yeah, this is uh, Vig. Spin it around. It's big spin around. That's his name, Vig. Yeah, this is my Vig. Yeah, so he's this guy. He's coming to collect money off me, so I don't have it. So he's taking the carving. <laughs> I'll be carving till I got my money. Okay, and we'll just take once a year. Once a year, that's okay. Then I'll we'll, I'll just make you a carbon once a year. But Woo! all right, see you later. Peace out. So, anyways, that was my good friend. Uh, his nickname's Dark Hat. Um, I, I like to give him a carbon once in a while. So he's got a pretty cool place out there, and he's got a couple of my carvings, and he's really supportive. So, guys, people that your friends that support your art, huge. Give him some carvings. It makes him happy, right? He brought me over a wicked Popeye's chicken burger, too. Actually, he brought me two. I got another one over there. Popeye's chicken is just, it's new here in uh, BC. It's just freaking wicked. Okay, so I got this blocked out quickly. I used my little 2511 uh, Echo Saw. So now I think I, I want to just kind of do some lines up here to make it kind of look like tree bark. I still got to drill the hole with a spade bit. I got to carve the shingles and i still got a hole out the bottom here so anyways just enjoy carry on carry on okay so i got all the marks in here there's a thing um i tried to make a knot here but whatever so i'll burn this and it will look like tree bark maybe i don't know um pete came over and we looked at this wood he said it's we've excluded birch wood so it's not birch wood but if you look there, you see those little tiny cracks? He says that's a good way to identify the wood, but we can't identify it. So Pete thinks it might be beech wood. It could possibly be beech wood. I sanded this one down a bit more. So if any of you guys know what kind of wood this is out there, Pete says it's, he thinks it's a hardwood. Just because it's just because it's called hardwood doesn't mean it's hardwood, but you can see those cracks like in there, going left to right. So that's he says that's a good way to recognize this type of wood. But we just he said it could be beech wood, it could be um, uh, what's that other wood uh, that good wood um, butternut, it could be basswood. But any of you guys recognize those? They look like little tiny cracks. Um, let's see here. Here's a good example. Anyways, I don't freaking know. I'm just going to carve it. Just carve it. Carry on.
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some uh, holes for the plants inside here. I'm going to, this is a Mampa cutter, okay? It's a hole cutter. You guys can see it. That's the tools there, Mampa tools, okay? Here's the website. You want to take a screenshot? Mampa tools. So this is a hole cutter. Um, you can see the, hold on a sec here, please, sorry. You can see the cutters on it. One, there's three cutters on. I think this is the two inch one. So I'm just going to go around, haul this out. Maybe make it three inches, four inches deep. Succulents don't need that much dirt. So they'll basically live in five petals of sand. So I'll get that done and I'll be back. Okay, so I'd call that out for the win. I'd say it's about three inches deep, maybe four in some spots. Now I got these uh, shingles drawn on here. I'm going to slope them, and I'll use the new battery saw to do that. I'll film a little bit, I guess. I don't know. What do you think? Yep. Okay, so you can see I got the shingles layers cut in there. That's all I'm going to do for that. Um, guys, got to remember this is an outdoor piece. So I got this spade bit in my drill here. Now I'm just going to carve a hole in there so it looks like a birdhouse, okay? I don't know what size this is. doesn't matter. It's not real. Alrighty then. <laughs> um, so now I got that done. Everything's getting on point here. Now I'm going to start doing some detailing, first of all, with this uh, Peter Blair Monster with the Industrial Flex Shaft Fordham. Cut saw bit on there. I'm going to clean everything up. Then I'm going to use a smaller cut saw, do the eyes and all that stuff. There's lots of videos uh, how I do that. So I'll be back. Carry on. Carry on. Okay, so as the artistic journey continues... <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it is, in my opinion, this is a chainsaw carving, so we'll leave it as a chainsaw carving. So you can see the chainsaw carving marks. Yes. I don't know if that looks like a knot, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't know if this looks like bark, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> ah. 
I don't know if I want to put spar varnish on this or CETOL or what I want to do. I just don't know. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my little flap sander now. I'm going to... Um, hi, Claire, out there in Paris. This is a 3-inch sanding disc. It's 46 or 30, uh, 36 grit, I think it is, on a flap sanding thing. On a cheap grinder. And I'm just going to quickly detail this uh, pot with this. I won't film. Hi, Claire. Okay, so we are slowly getting there. <laughs> this is a funny guy. Yep, it's a funny one. So, oh yeah, I signed it right on the cheek. It kind of looks like a scar. So, um, I want to uh, spray clear this. I don't have any here. So... I'm going to have to go to the store, and it will probably take me about 45 minutes to go there and back. So, anyways. Oh, yeah, where's that piece of wood? I did find a better piece of wood with those cracks Pete was talking about. And now I can't find the cracks. Not cracks, but, oh, like, here you go. See those lines in the wood? See those? That's what Pete's talking about. They're not cracks, because when he showed me, I said, well, those little checks? He goes, no, they're not checks. They're they're part of the wood. So does anybody know what kind of wood this is? They look like checks, kind of like the way oak does, but it's not oak. You see those things? And if you're not 100%, please don't comment, because I don't want to get confused, but if you're 100%, I'd love to hear what you think, what type of wood it is. Anyways, enough about that. Move on. Carry on. Time to go to the store. Carry on. Holy, who taught this guy how to park? Carry on. Okay, so I made it back to the home fort. Um, this is the stuff that I got. It's I like this stuff because it um, dries fast. Anyways, before I spray this, I think like um, a good a good practice to have is like say there's an extra piece of wood here. I burnt it a bit. This is the same type of wood. Let's spray it and see how it looks before I decide to um, spray this one. So, but this stuff is not much color change at all. And that's perfect. That's exactly why I wanted to use this stuff. Once it dries up in 20 minutes, it will really, you won't be able to tell the difference. So yeah, perfect. Cause if I use spar varnish, it would go super dark. If I use CETOL, it would change color. And I just kind of like this color for this, for this guy here. So. Um, let me spray it on, see it darkens up a bit, but that's perfect because I like this color for this guy. So I'll finish spraying this and I guess, well, I'll be back. I just wanted to show you guys something, okay? So like when you do up here, that would be like the end grain. So watch how when I spray this on, look how that wood sucks that in. So don't be afraid to soak it on, right? And get it in there because this stuff dries like plastic see that this sucking it in because you're spraying the end grain so when you spray the end grain it seals it better so it's like the end of a log right so it doesn't split as much anyways i just soaked this shit on yep that's all okay so while i'm waiting for this sucker to dry actually i should probably spray this one too i think i will but when i'm waiting for this to dry I got this, um, so my little 2511 Echo, this saw, this saw rips, okay? 
And it's such a small little compact saw. Me and my buddy Chris were talking about this, Chris Garage. It's such a compact little saw. It doesn't really have much anti-vibration. It's not huge vibration, but still, every time I use this for, like, say, two tanks of gas, my hand goes numb, okay? And it tingles a bit, the hand up here. So I asked uh, Ryan Cook if those, because he has all different colors of tape on his handles, I asked him because if it's for anti-vibration, but he said, no, not really. It's just uh, for something else. But he says it, it might help in anti-vibration. He never really thought about it. But I got this foam from the mad scientist, Pete. So I'm going to put this foam on here. Then I ordered this, uh, what, it's tennis racket stuff on, on uh, Amazon. This is supposed to be like Japanese wind. I don't know if it really looks like Japanese, but whatever. There's skulls you can get too if you just uh, type in tennis wrap. There's skulls, but I don't know. I didn't want the skulls, so I'll just wrap this up with this. And who knows, it might help. So anyways, just a tip. Tennis, this stuff, I hope it's not slippery. But anyways, I'll get this done and whatever. Okay. So I don't know if this stuff's going to come undone at the ends there, but I don't know how to put this stuff on. I should have just got like uh, hockey tape, I guess. But anyways, it feels like uh, only time will tell, I guess. Who knows? So back to the carving. I guess it's pretty well done. Come on, zoom in. I guess it's pretty well done. Oh yeah, we gotta spray that one too. Hold on. Okay, so I sprayed all of them. This will act like a plastic shield when I put the spar varnish on over top, but i got to give this a good three days to make sure it's really dry. The spar varnish goes so dark. This stuff, not too dark, nowhere near as dark as the spar varnish. So this will act like a, a layer of plastic so the wood can't go dark. This is the natural color of the cedar, right? This is old first growth western red cedar. And so is this. So you can see the two different colors, right? Two different areas. And this is uh, cherry wood. So anyways, this guy's, you guys, this guy's done, but you guys, come on, you know, it's done, but it's not done. I need it. I need to do a step up, don't I? There's something, there's something, sorry about that glare. There's something that I need to do to finish this guy off. So let's just see what it is. Let's do the abracadabra. Three, two, one. Abra. Cadabra. Okay, guys, so I just took some uh, branches off a bush and put it in there. Look like succulents. Don't forget to sign your pieces. So here it is. What do you think? What do you think? Ah, uh, just don't worry. Don't be a don't be a hater. That's just a joke. If I didn't do stuff like that, I wouldn't be Jordy. That's for sure. But I carved this wood. Uh, it's the same wood. I carved the branch to make it look like a branch, I guess. And I just epoxied it, epoxied it in there. Then I put a screw up. It goes about that deep inside there. Then I put a screw up down through here. You'll never see it. So let's get this sign flipped around. That's a shout out to Steve Kanzora. I'm not, tell, I'm not telling Steve to fuck right off, but it, Steve Steve knows, and my buddy, uh, Chris, every, all my friends know it's just an inside joke. It's something that I like to say. So there's a complete complete wasted day. I could have done like five wood spirits by the time this, this thing took. Anyways, let's turn that sign around. Okay, so is that better? Anyways, pretty fun project. Uh, anybody can do this. Um, it just kind of shows to open your mind and just do what you love doing. And if you don't love doing it, don't do it. You know, like I said earlier, just got my chainsaw marks there and uh, who cares? Right? This isn't like a thousand thousand dollar masterpiece. I'd say this is a few hundred dollar piece. Uh oh. But anyways, hope everybody's good and um, have a happy Sunday.
That's right. Happy Sunday, everybody. For rent. Free rent. Free rent. Hi, Brian. Over there in England. How you doing? You know what type of wood this is, Brian? I still can't figure it out. Hi, Brian.